if you guys heard the news or not, but the showrunner of Sleepy Hollow, a.k.a. Mark Goffman, was either let go, fired, or resigned as the showrunner of Sleepy Hollow. There are a lot of people online who feel like this is a bad thing, and I'm here to tell you that it's not necessarily a bad thing. Why I'm saying this is simply because I'm a part of the Walking Dead fandom. A fandom that has seen three different showrunners. One of which is not going anywhere anytime soon. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, during season one of Walking Dead, the first showrunner was Frank Darabont, who essentially left after season one. Then there was Glenn Mazzara for season two and three, and now for four, five, and six and beyond is Scott Gimple, who is actually, if I remember correctly, one of the head writers of the show, and he seems to have settled in and is doing okay, despite the feedback from the recent episode of The Walking Dead, but that's another video for me to, and an issue for me to dive into later. But getting a new showrunner is not a bad thing. I really don't look at it like that. Um, it's a good thing to get another person's perspective. One thing that I learned about television um, was that it's nothing personal when they let somebody go. I'm like a writer or a producer or a, um, a showrunner. It basically has to do with the direction that the network wants to go. And given the feedback of season two of Sleepy Hollow and the way that the fans reacted to it, the way that the critics reacted to it, and the ratings, this was not a big surprise that this happened. Um, am I the happiest person in the world that it happened? Honestly, not really because somebody lost their job. But this will give us a new kind of like direction for the show and a new storyline. Some people feel like, ooh, this means the end of Sleepy Hollow. Trust me, if Sleepy Hollow was truly canceled, they wouldn't be showing repeats. They really wouldn't be doing much on the um, Facebook and Twitter and other social media accounts. They would have told us a long time ago because the other networks, CBS, NBC, CW, um... AMC, a and &E, if I'm comparing network television to cable television still, they let you know, like, we're getting rid of this show, but we appreciate you guys, or the network decided to let go of this show, but we still love you. I know that on Tumblr, everybody is, like, rejoicing and happy, and more power to <laughs> you guys, because I know a lot. We're frustrated and so was I and I've talked about this on my other Sleepy Hollow reviews and my other um, side side little videos that I've done. Um, there were a few tweets or like some type of miscommunication over Twitter between the fandom and between um, different people involved with um, Sleepy Hollow. And it's good to see that the fans have come to a certain point to whereas we seem like we're feeling a lot better and that whole rift between the fandom has kind of like faded away even though some fans that were involved in the Katrina side of the rift seem like they're happy because according to them the show is in danger but again I don't see the show as being in danger anymore anyways that's about all that I have to say in this like impromptu Sleepy Hollow update type thing, but I figured I'd let you guys know because you guys know I reviewed Sleepy Hollow for the second half of this season and um, I told you I was going to let you know and keep you up to date, so I'm doing that. And Just to reiterate, um, showrunner Mark Goffman is gone and Sleepy Hollow is about to turn over a new leaf. And good luck to Mark Goffman at because I, from what I've heard, he's going to CBS. Good luck there. And that's about it for this video. So you guys take care and don't forget to rate this video. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think about the sleepy update. And subscribe to my brand of crazy because I'm going to be doing a crap load of videos pretty soon. <laughs>
Because I'm really liking this whole, like, talking to you guys thing without a script thing or just not thinking so hard when I do the videos. So, if you want to, you know, stay in touch with me or uh, keep up with what I'm watching, definitely make sure that you guys check out my Twitter and Google Plus, Sage Valentine. So, until next time, you all take care. I love you all. And until the next sleepy update. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>